In this lesson, we'll start adding some hatch patterns to our glass. All right, so we've got most of everything in place. Let's extend to do a little bit more trimming and some cleaning up. So while we're here, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select this, and we'll go with Trim. And we're really not going to see anything beyond this area here. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that out. We're going to have to explode this in order to get rid of this. So I'm going to go to Home, Explode, this dimension. Let's get rid of this. So that's cleaned up nicely. Oh, looks like we have one more line we could probably stand to trim off. All right, and I'm going to come up here because uh, I did a little bit of deleting earlier. And it looks like we kind of missed up on some of this stuff here. So we're going to go hatch. And I want AR concrete, half an inch. Bingo. We'll go ahead and place that. But that needs to be on its proper layer. Let's make sure we get that right first. So now we'll go hatch. Go half an inch. And we'll place it in there like so. All right, and then we can trim off this area as well. So I'm going to select our break line. We'll go trim. And we'll trim off anything that we can beyond this break line as well. Cool. All right, so that's looking a lot better. So now we can actually go in and start doing our hatching. Now, to do our hatching, it's actually pretty simple. It's exactly what you think it is. It's just going in, hatch, and placing the pattern where you want it. In these areas, it's pretty easy, but when you get to areas like this where we have some overlapping, we're going to have to come in and hatch in this area, this area. It's going to take a lot of extra steps to get that hatching and create that effect that this is actually in front of those steps. So to do that, I use polylines. I'll bring it out away from my drawing, hatch it, and bring it back in, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So what we'll do is we'll go to polyline, and we'll start here on the bottom. We'll start easy. I'm going to use my start point there, and that's probably the hardest point of this process is remembering uh, your exact start point and clicking in the right spot. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I'm doing all of those. And then once we get this in place, you can see that my line's gray. I just need to make sure that I place this on the right layer. So we'll put that back on layer 0 once we get our polyline completed. Perfect. So I'm going to grab that polyline. Let's assign it to layer 0 really quick. So now I'm going to grab it, move it, hatch inside of it, and we're going to go with uh, maybe a dot hatch. And we could probably stand up that, but got to make sure we're on the right layer, of course. Now we can go hatch. Dots. Let's see what the scale does for us. That works for me. All right, so we can now grab that hatch pattern as well as that polyline. And the key is grabbing it at the right spot and placing it back into the exact spot. So that's how you go about getting that done. So now we could take the exact same approach and do that for here, here, and here. We probably don't have to do it for here. Um, I'm probably just going to hatch in here while we're here. That's a lot of here's. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this these three uh, panels out, doing the taking the exact same approach. Uh, that way... The hatch pattern is definitely in front of our concrete here, as well as anything else that's uh, in this one as well. So once I get these complete, you'll actually see that complete in the next lesson. We'll start adding text and some dimensions, and I'll let you know which dimensions you're going to want to call out and which ones they're going to want to see when you're taking out your building permit.